Hello everyone. My name is Dai Chi, and I will give you a lecture, regarding the radiation and remediation activities. So, let's start today's lecture. Today's theme is, What is the ICRP, Volume 1? Are you ready? So, today's theme of this seminar was, International Cooperation, especially focusing on activities of the United Nations. How was that? How do you think about it? Well, I reaffirmed the importance of establishment of common international rules and regulations. In the field of radiation protection, there is a framework for making international rules, right? Absolutely. Then, using the rest of time, let me talk about the ICRP, which plays an important and key role for establishment of international rule for radiation protection. By the way, Hickory, how much do you know about the ICRP? Do you know it very well? Well, I know its name, because it frequently comes up during your lectures, but actually, I don't know the detail of the organization at all. Okay. No worries. First, let us begin with the history of the ICRP for its establishment. In 1895, Rontian, a German physicist, discovered a new kind of radiation, which passes through paper and woods, but on the other hand, doesn't pass through human bones and lead, and he named it, X-ray. I have heard about the story. Dr. Röntgen won the first Nobel Prize for this discovery, right? Yes, that is correct. Next year, in 1896, a French physicist, Dr. Henri Becquerel found out, that uranium ores have ability to emit radiation, that is, radioactivity, by noticing that photographic plates were exposed to radiation, which were left together with uranium ores for his experiments. That has just reminded me of the fact, that Dr. Becquerel also won the Nobel Prize with this discovery, and unit of radioactivity is, even now, Becquerel, isn't it? And in 1898, a Polish physicist as well as a chemist, Dr. Marie Curie, won the Nobel Prize, together with her husband, Dr. Pierre Curie, a French physicist, based on their great achievement, that they found out substances with radioactivity, which Dr. Becquerel discovered. Specifically, the discovered radioactive substances are, polonium, and radium. Mr. and Mrs. Curie also won the Nobel Prize in Physics, based on this great discovery of these radioisotopes. Moreover, Ms. Marie Curie afterward won another Nobel Prize in Chemistry. In these a couple of years, they came to really great consecutive discoveries in the field of radiology, right? Right. But, at the same time with these great discoveries, in 1896, it became apparent, that radiation could cause inflammation on skin, and people came to know, that using radiation could make our life very useful, but on the other hand, it could bring adverse effect on people's health. Aiming at addressing these issues, in 1928, in order to protect medical employees from X-ray and radiation emitted by radium, the IXRPC, International X-ray and Radium Protection Committee was established. This was the predecessor of the present ICRP. Afterward, in 1932, Accelerator was developed, and for the first time, nuclear reaction was first realized with artificial radiation. In addition, in 1934, a daughter of Marie Curie and Pierre Curie, a physicist, Irene Joliet Curie, and her husband, Frederick Joliet Curie found out the phenomena, in which, when alpha rays are irradiated to aluminum, aluminum atoms become radioactive phosphorus atoms, and further become silicon atoms, by emitting beta rays as positrons. With this discovery, they for the first time succeeded in synthesizing artificial radioisotopes. I think, 
that Ms. Irene Joliot Curie also won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry with her husband Frederick. It is unbelievable, that parents and daughter, moreover both wife and husband won the Nobel Prize, but their discoveries were so great, that they deserved the wonderful awards, right? I think so too. The synthesis of artificial radioisotopes made it possible, for radiation to be applied in various kinds of field. It is used not only for medical application, such as, diagnosis and treatment of cancer, but also used for synthesis of high polymer compounds, non-destructive inspection, and determination of thickness, in the field of industry, as explained in another lecture. Further to that, in the field of agriculture, it is applied, such as, to breed improvement, sterilization, and pest control. In addition, in the field of archaeology and art, it is widely used, for example, for radiocarbon dating. So, in other words, as a result of expansion of purposes for using radiation, regarding people to be properly protected from exposure to radiation, it had become necessary, for not only workers in medical field, but also workers in other kinds of fields to be considered, like industry, agriculture, archaeology and the kinds of fields for research, correct? Correct. As you mentioned, in response to the expansion of kinds of radiation to be considered, as well as expansion of kinds of people to be protected from exposure to radiation, the IXRPC at the time, in 1950, was reorganized into the ICRU, International Commission on Units and Measurements, and the ICRP, International Commission on Radiological Protection. I see. Its activities had been changed, according to the expansion of use of radiation. Then, what kind of activities has the ICRP made after the reorganization? Well, I have talked about the ICRP this time especially focusing on its history of the establishment. So, next time let me elaborate its specific activities. So, let me wrap up my lecture by providing you the key points. Today I talked about the ICRP, especially focusing on history of its establishment. In the late 19th century, there were consecutive great achievements for research on radiation, like discovery of X-ray by Dr. Ontian in 1895, followed by discovery of radioactivity by Dr. Becquerel in the next year, and discovery of substances with radioactivity by Mr. and Mrs. Curie in 1898. On the other hand, meanwhile, negative impact on human health was recognized, for example, by confirmation of inflammation on skin caused by radiation in 1896. Meanwhile, in 1928, in order to consider radiation protection mainly for medical employees, the IXRPC, the International X-ray and Radium Protection Committee was established, followed by the development of Accelerator in 1932, and synthesis of artificial radioisotopes by Mr. and Mrs. Joliet Curie in 1934. As a result of these achievements, progress for application of radiation, in the fields other than medical field was rapidly made, and the number and kinds of people to be covered for the radiation protection had increased. In response to these achievements and changes, in 1950, the IXRPC was reorganized and the ICRP, International Commission on Radiological Protection was established. Okay, today's lecture is now dismissed. See you next time. In this channel, useful information, regarding the radiation and remediation, will be provided to you. If you like it, please subscribe to this channel, and do not forget to click the like button.